Hey guys, it's Rick and Paco again from How Lunch and Baggers. Guys? We're back. Um, back from California. Paco didn't end up on his trip, so he's just delaying it until later in the season because of uh, COVID and all the other well, shit, shit that belongs to it. Yeah, he's broke. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm broke. <laughs> broke in. No, I'm broke. But not broke yet. At least that's what his wife says. So, anyway... We're here in uh, Johnston, Ontario. Johnston, not Johnson. And, Johnson, as yeah, in, yeah, in no, uh, the UK. Uh, your, well, you know, as your Johnson. Johnson there? Yeah, yeah, so okay. it, Let's yeah, so clarify that first, okay? We'll clarify Johnston, Ontario. Uh, St. Lawrence is over there, that way. And uh, Alexandria Bay, again. And uh, we're on the Ontario side, just outside of uh, Prescott. And uh, we were driving along, we found this place. We just thought, you know what? Hot day. Little brewski. I thought you Brew. said, uh, one of the vlogs you said that uh, beer is a girl's drink. Yeah, uh, beer beer is a girl's drink, and this is not beer. Yeah, it's, it's uh, beer it's with beer with, with some lemonade, lemonade. With a little twist of lemonade. Yeah, yeah that, that's not girly at all. No, it? no, it's not girly. Uh, yeah. But so, having said that, I'm drinking that. Yes, <laughs> we are. And uh, it's a, a traditional shandy. It's very good. Not it's actually lemonade. really good. It's, uh, it's, it is. Yeah. It's organic. By the way, if I'm talking loud because I don't have my hearing aids, they're they're in my in the trunk. So yeah, yeah. just uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Have to, <laughs> so <laughs> that's what he says. So he yeah he doesn't have his hearing aids in, and uh, I'm sure it has nothing to do with you know just you know being around me. So anyway, uh, we stopped in at this windmill brewery. It's a pretty cool area. Yeah, cool the middle of the build, uh, like uh, middle of the road on Highway Two, and there's, there's little, uh, this really cool outbuilding where you could sit there and eat and drink yeah, outside. Cool picnic table, and yeah. Brewery, and uh, inside it's really cool. They make uh, some other stuff, not gins just and, uh, Canadian yeah. gins and so wines. And, uh, it's a it's a brewery and a distillery in the same building. They uh, make moonshine. Rye whiskeys. Moonshine? Yeah, yeah. They, you didn't see this? No, I didn't see any. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's moonshine in there. Garlic vodka. Garlic uh, vodka, vodka, gin, winter gin. Um, yeah, that gin yeah, was, yeah. Uh, he's saying star anise, and it's got a lot yeah, yeah. of stuff going in it. Yeah, the juniper uh, juniper heavy, that kind of thing. So, yeah, we kind of, organic. you go in, there's a, uh, a rack on the bar, and uh, basically you get, uh, you know, samples. Which is really cool because the last time we went to Top Shelf, yeah. we couldn't get any samples. Get any samples. And that was really disappointing because I know that their products are pretty good. But this time uh, we're here on the uh, St. Lawrence and we got free samples, uh, which is always well, free's always good cool. because he's a cheap bastard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, the motorcycles are expensive. <laughs> we need some stuff for free and Harley ain't giving anything away, that's for sure. So, anyway... Um, so we thought we'd stop in here. Definitely uh, thumbs up on this place. This is a pretty cool little location. And uh, Highway 2 here along the uh, waterfront is always Same a great words. drive. Yeah, it is a nice drive. Great drive. We just came from uh, Calabogie area. So we're up to, I don't know, 200 and something kilometers today. Uh, we've got a, another 200 kilometers to go for the rest of our day before we end up back at home type of thing. And uh, yeah, so... We're out, we're back. Look for us, because uh, we're gonna be back on uh, on a little bit more regular basis. And uh, next week, good news, restaurants open. We can sit inside, air conditioning, sit on the patios without restrictions. I can't wait, yeah. none of us can wait. Uh, it's been long enough. The people that have been vaccinated. Uh, hoping their shit you know, up, for Christ's sake. Oh, exactly. We're all tired of uh, the restrictions. It's like 11 and, uh, cases in Ottawa. Yeah, I hope that uh, that's it for that little sideshow. And uh, we can move on. So, anyway, guys. Thanks for paying attention. Remember, click the like. Hit the subscribe. Touch that bell so that you get our notifications whenever we post. And uh, catch you catch later. Keep your stick on the ice. <laughs> Ciao, guys.